Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do something that has been requested quite a few times now and that is to give you a tour of our apartment in Switzerland. So we've been living in Switzerland for two years now and we arrived at like a really awkward time to find an apartment right before Christmas and so as well as give you a little tour I think I also want to share some tips and tricks about finding an apartment in Switzerland and all the little things we've learnt along the way. So before we get started with the tour I just wanted to quickly tell you a bit of a story about how we found our apartment because finding an apartment in Switzerland especially in the cities can be pretty competitive and pretty tricky and um, I've heard all sorts of stories about it taking people months and months to find a place and then it's not even a place they really love, it's just they needed somewhere to live. So we actually were lucky enough to have a relocation agent which Jason's work supplied to us but anyone can hire one on their own if they like and our agent actually helped us with the apartment finding process and I think to be honest without her we would not have got this apartment as quickly as we did. We arrived right before Christmas. If you don't know already there's actually only three or four official times during the year that Swiss apartments can be vacated and put back on the market officially with an agent. So there's like these four peak times of the year and the rest of the time if you do decide to move you have to coordinate everything yourself. So people don't do that so much. Um, so we were outside of that right before Christmas and the lady that we had helping us was just in the know. She knew everyone in the industry and basically we got the first apartment that we applied for and it happened very quickly. So if you are looking to get an apartment in Switzerland, I would highly recommend looking into getting an agent because it just made the process so much less stressful. I am going to start our tour at the front door because that makes sense. And just as a little bit of background, we are on the third and fourth floors of our building. The fourth floor is actually in the roof. So we have a staircase in our apartment and upstairs is all vaulted ceilings. So it's very interesting. It's kind of like living in a treehouse. But I will say because of that, we I think we did get a better price than you would normally pay for this kind of um, layout and floor space. So we also do have an elevator, which is very handy when you have heavy things coming up stairs. And here we go. So when we walk in, we have our little entryway. Um, something interesting about Swiss apartments is you do not get any light fittings with the apartment. It's basically just going to be wires hanging out of the ceiling and then you have to install all of your own lights. And then if we go this way, so also when you're looking at Swiss apartments, the number of bedrooms on an ad, sorry, and the number of rooms on an ad is not bedrooms, it's total rooms in the house. So this right here is supposed to be a third bedroom, but as you can see, we have made it into a TV room. Oh, also this is our pin board. So we try and collect a pin from everywhere we've traveled and put a photo up with it. And this is our little cupboard. We actually brought over a really big vacuum cleaner but have just changed over to this little Dyson. And in a small apartment, honestly, it's all you need and it's so much easier to just to get out and um, clean things up, little messes as you go, rather than a big bulky um, vacuum cleaner. We really loved all the storage in this apartment. It's all like hidey holes everywhere. And it's very clever, which is in a small space. So helpful. We also have this one in the cupboard, uh, in the hallway too, which is really handy. So then we come into our main living area. So this here is supposed to be the the TV room, which is, as you can see, I don't even know where you would put a TV. So that's why we've used the third bedroom for that. And this is Jason's musical instrument corner. He came home with a bongo drum recently. That's fun. And then we have our dining and our kitchen. 
kitchen. Another interesting thing is that a lot of the places we looked at didn't have like an island bench. So that is actually something we bought ourselves from Ikea and put in because without it, the kitchen bench space just would not be big enough. And then also another thing about Swiss apartments is that all the appliances are built in. So this is actually the fridge. And generally the freezers are tiny. So that is something we had to get used to. A lot of people have a chest freezer down in the basement where they can put like all their frozen meat or whatever. Um, because yeah, it's just very small. So that's the fridge and that's the dishwasher there actually. And this is our little shelves we have up where we get all of our travel treasures. Just some cute little things to remind us of everywhere we've been. And, oh, this is our baby. This is our coffee machine. We are actually known, if you didn't know already, as coffee snobs. So when we moved to Switzerland and discovered that the coffee culture here was not quite what we're used to, we decided that it was going to be a good investment for us to get a decent coffee machine. And so that is why we have this guy. So we actually don't drink coffee out because it's just not how we like it. And also it's very expensive. So there's no point buying something that you don't love. So we've invested in our coffee machine and we actually bought it here because appliances in Switzerland, even though everything is generally more expensive in Switzerland, electronics and appliances are pretty good. So we found a coffee shop, a coffee machine shop here and found this one and we really love it. Recently, we also invested in a grinder. So now we can grind our own beans at home. Oh, this is a rug we got from Morocco as well. Something that's so cool about living here and traveling places is you end up filling your apartment up with all of your travel treasures. So I'm just gonna show you the balcony. It's really freezing out there, so it'll be quick. That's our barbecue under the top there, waiting for summer like I am too. We have our little recycling tubs. And at the moment it's pretty empty out here, but in summer we do put out a table and we also have some storage here. Yeah, it's really handy. Things like my shopping trolley. Also, something that all of our visitors, and we were really impressed with actually when we got here, is the doors and windows. So they're super duper thick. There is no cold getting in or out of there. And they have these handles. So if I pull this down that seals the door if I put it this way it opens the door and then if I twist it up it actually turns it into a little lever window so you can let some air in so that is our main living room oh also we ended up getting this um, which actually is storage as part of our dining table just to maximize the space a little bit, which is very important in a small apartment. So then we're going back to the front door and around the corner. So under the staircase, we have our coat rack and some more cupboards. And actually this is our laundry. So we have a dryer and a washing machine. And in Swiss apartments, this is actually not the norm. It's normal to have a communal laundry downstairs. And then obviously coat storage is very important in winter. And another thing, I just love all of these little cupboards in this apartment. And then we also have our shoe rack, something we never had in Australia for some reason, but really handy for shoe storage. And then we have our first bathroom downstairs. So the shower is actually tucked behind the basin. And this room gets so much beautiful natural light. I love it. 
but it's basically a shower, a toilet, a basin, cabinet, mirror, which also another thing we don't have in Australia, but it's so handy to store things in. Okay, and then we'll go upstairs. So upstairs, as I mentioned before, is in the roof of our building. And we have a second bathroom, which unfortunately doesn't have a proper shower because you can see the ceiling is vaulted, but it is a bath, toilet, and vanity, which is very handy when we have visitors. And then we have the second bedroom, which is actually my office space. And I also do yoga in here and store my capsule wardrobe as well. So these windows in the ceiling mean we get really beautiful lighting in here, but in summer it does get really hot. And in Switzerland, there is no kind of air conditioning or ceiling fans installed generally. Uh, so we have to get all of our pedestal fans out in summer. And this thing here, not gonna lie, kind of sold us on the apartment, but it's actually like a automatic windows and blinds. So I can press that and then the blinds in here will close. Of course, a day I do not want them closed because the sky is so beautiful and blue, but it's really handy to have it all blocked out at night time and they can automatically open at a certain time in the morning so that you do wake up because otherwise it's so dark you don't even know that it's morning yet. And finally, we have our bedroom, the main room which was a little tricky for wardrobe storage because of the ceilings. So we've gone with open storage, everything we got from Ikea. This is not as tidy as I like it to be, Jason. But you can imagine. And then we have our bed. And one thing we really love is we can lie in bed and look out at the sky and see the stars or the snow or the sunrise. It's really lovely. And then I have some more storage over there. And this door here actually just goes back out to our staircase on the fourth floor because the lift does not come up to this level. So that is our entire apartment. And as well as this apartment, Pretty much every apartment in Switzerland has a basement or a cellar down in the bottom of the building. So everyone will get a storage space included with their apartment. Something I wish we'd really known when we were moving here because we would have bought a lot more things with us like Jason's golf club and my picnic basket that we could keep down there. Um, not knowing how much storage space we would have, we were very conservative with what we bought over. So. I wish we'd known that. Also, something else we were not aware of is that you have to put down a pretty humongous deposit for an apartment, two months worth of rent. And when you think about rent is probably starting at 2,000 franc a month, it adds up pretty quickly. So just something to be aware of, some, some cash that you have to have on hand when you're um, applying for your apartment. It's also quite common for you to be allowed to have pets in your apartment. Pets in apartments are very common here because most people live in an apartment, not in a house. So if you do have a pet that you want to bring with you or you would like to get one when you're here, that's not really something you have to worry too much about. And some other little quirky things that you may want to be aware of is that in some apartment complexes, Generally, when you're living with more local people, there can be rules like no showers after 10 p.m. and no washing on Sunday. So they may actually turn the water to your washing machines off 
we are really lucky that we live in a more um, contemporary environment with a lot of other expats so we haven't had any problems like that. Before I go though I am just gonna run down to the basement slash cellar with you so I can show you what it actually looks like and an interesting fact is the reason all of these apartments have cellars and basements is because um, it used to be mandatory to have war shelters in every single building in Switzerland so they're actually all like bomb shelters uh, that have been converted now some of them have been converted now just into general storage but uh, yeah I think there was uh, at one point more bomb shelters than people in Switzerland so it's a very safe place to be if there's ever a war just remembered something cool I wanted to show you and that is the lamp powerpoints that they have in Swiss households so this is the switch light switch on the wall which normally would be normal to like turn on and off this light but you can also use it to turn lamps on and off so in powerpoints there will be one with a little squiggly line next to it one little socket and that means it's connected to the wall switch so if you do plug something into it and this isn't on and it's not charging or working it's because you've put it in the lamp switch something we learned the hard way Okay, so I am down in the cellar and this is our little area here, which is um, left with the key. And it actually has a light switch, which is connected to our power bill. And it's our space to use however we want to. We keep our skis and stuff in here. Do have an extra fridge in case we need more space for anything in particular and we actually keep all of our cardboard paper recycling down here until it can get collected because that only happens once every three months um so yeah that's the cellar and i get a little creeped out being down here by myself feel like i might get murdered so i'm going to end it at that okay back in the safety of my apartment and I think that is everything I wanted to show you guys and if you have any questions about finding an apartment in Switzerland or decorating a apartment with vaulted ceilings or anything at all really please leave a comment below let me know if you enjoyed this video give me a like and I will see you next week Bye, guys.